this is parallel session 3D, and it's on science and technology levers. And my name is Luc Mane, I'm the Director General of the International Fertilizer Industry Association based in Paris, in France. And it's a privilege and a pleasure for me uh, to chair this uh, panel session. We have an excellent slate of panelists with us this morning. I'm sure we're all going to enjoy what they're going to say. Um, obviously, science and technology is uh, very important in this whole uh, mechanism of how do we connect, how do we use agriculture uh, as leverage in order to um, improve nutrition and health, which is the theme of, uh, of this conference. And um, uh, let me start off by saying a few words about myself. Uh, I'm a an agriculture engineer, I'm an agronomist, and uh, those of you from my generation, uh, we grew up with the Green Revolution, we grew up that agriculture has to increase its productivity, that we have to produce more food for an ever-growing population. Uh, that was what we were told, that's what we have practiced. And um, uh, if we now come to the situation where we want to use agriculture, to improve nutrition and health, then we need, first of all, the science, and also we need the technological tools in order to do that. So we're, we're moving away from agriculture as a, a, a producer of food, uh, and if you look at it today, what agriculture does, it not only produces food, it also produces feed for the animal uh, production, it produces fiber, and it produces energy. So there is a diversification of what agriculture does today. And um, if we want to get agriculture involved in nutrition and health, and if we want to develop the science and the technology uh, in agriculture in order to um, respond to this uh, new movement to improve nutrition and health, then we're looking at the nutritionists, we're looking at the health people and we're asking ourselves as agriculturists, what is it that we can do? Tell us what the problems are, tell us what we meaningfully can do in agriculture in order to help you and provide better nutrition and health to uh, the population. So uh, time and again over the past two days I have heard that by and large agriculture has bought in into this new uh, development that we should uh, be uh, helping out in improving uh, human nutrition and health. Now, traditionally, uh, agriculturists, and to my knowledge, in my career as an, as, as an agronomist, uh, we do not routinely get involved with nutritionists. And I think the nutritionists are much closer to the health people than agriculturists are to the nutritionists. And we need to, we need to change that. We need to break that down and make sure that there is interaction. And um, if I can quote uh, a good friend of mine, Professor Welch from the University of Cornell, uh, he changed the mindset of my industry, the fertilizer industry, 10 years ago when he addressed my council and he said, stop calling farmers as producers of food, but start calling farmers producers of nutrients, nutrients for human life. And I think it's under this theme that I would like to um, invite the panelists to come forward and to uh, express what they see is important in this field of science and technology as levers uh, to uh, link agriculture to nutrition and public health. Now our first panelist is um, Lindsay Allen. And Lindsay is the Center Director, USDA, ARS, Western Human Nutrition Research Center and Research Professor at the University of California, Davis. Now, I have asked the panelists to express their views during 10 minutes. They all get 10 minutes, and then we will open it up for discussion. So, Lindsay, the floor is yours. 